Assalamualaikum and good day student. We continue on the chapter 3.1 uh, mainly on the static balancing. Uh, we will do a simple uh, problem solving for the uh, balancing of uh, static uh, in a static mode in in a way of a graphical graphical approach uh, let's say there is a three blade of a rotating equipment where mass a is rigidly attached to the uh, center shaft over here mass a b and c is rigidly attached to the rotating shaft uh, with the amount of uh, 0 0.5 uh, kilogram individually so the idea is we need to uh, determine what is the uh, magnitude or what is the mass or what is the radius and where we should put at the uh, uh, at the another at the fourth blade so determine the mass radius and location of fourth blades as to ensuring the rotating equipment are in static balance mode so this equipment this uh, rotating equipment is lie only at the same uh, plane so this is only a static balancing so what we need to do first is you uh, we have to uh, tabulate all the data into table so from a b c and d and then don't forget to put all the masses radius angle and the uh, m times r so angle of measurement here i'm taking from a which is uh, the as is the positive x as is so we know that m is all is a 0 0.5 uh, kilogram and then the radius is uh, the same is one meter and then angle measuring from a is uh, 0 90 and 180 for mass c which is the blade c so the uh, magnitude of uh, m times r for a is 0 0.5 b is 0 0.5 and again c is 0 0.5 so from here from the value of uh, m times r here you need to uh, construct the uh, force polygon using a scale of 0 0.5 kilogram equal to 50 and m so this is chosen by me you can use uh, some other uh, scale as you wish and then considering the blade orientation you need to construct the force polygon start with a vector a the black color arrow so this is a uh, 50 mm line uh, 50 mm uh, vector a and then I will draw another line, the green line, which is uh, the the B B uh, vector, the same amount, zero point five uh, kgm. The next one is the C followed by C. So A B and C. So you can see that the polygon, the force polygon, is not in the close uh, loop. So, by adding another line from uh, vector C, coming back to vector A, is actually solving the additional mass that you need to uh, add at the uh, blade, at the blade ABC system. So, by measuring the length of this line, so it's actually representing the magnitude of md times rd which is uh, this one so the blue color vector 
is actually representing the value of md times rd so value of m and r can be revealed so here by measuring this length so it is actually representing 0 0.5 kg m knowing the radius is equal to one uh, meter so actually this one is one meter if you put a 0 0.5 this one could be higher is it so then if this one is one meter so the mass is 0 0.5 so angle measuring is referring to from the a or from the positive x axis to the mass d which is 270 or from here from positive x axis to the uh, blue uh, arrow factor is a 270 degree so you already solved the uh, you already done the balancing uh, according to the graphical approach so this is the new mass the new blade this is the location that you can put the uh, port mass what about balancing methods in terms of an optical approach for static balancing? Again, this is the three blades. So this is the angle of uh, uh, angle referring from X axis to B. This is from X axis to C. And then this is the imaginary uh, blade, imaginary mass of D. So the equation will be the total centrifugal force is equal to centrifugal force uh, created by mass A plus mass B plus mass C and plus imaginary masses D. So this is the imaginary mass. So since the uh, total amount of uh, centrifugal force is equal to zero, so you you arrange rearrange back the equation until it become like this since omega is constant at the left hand side equation and right hand side equation so i can take out the omega and left over the m times r only s time radius only but remember uh, if you want to solve the equation, you have to do it uh, at individual component of uh, x and y. So what you do is you need to solve it individually uh, by uh, solving the equation at uh, x axis first, uh, uh, centrifugal force at x axis. So you need to break down all the uh, forces uh, centrifugal forces acting at each uh, blade so this is the equation m d r d cos d a d a uh, d a means uh, theta d a means the uh, orientation or angle like say for this one cos theta a a means uh, uh, angle from a to a this one cos theta b a means uh, from a to b same applied to cos theta c a is actually the uh, theta uh, c a so if i put the m we know the m a is 0 0.5 cos a is uh, cos theta a a is 0 this one is 90 this one is 180 so actually you have 
this uh, simplified equation and then it's actually uh, equal to zero for the f uh, for the component of uh, y y as is so uh, you need to uh, put a sign uh, theta and so on according to the uh, same uh, principle uh, you saw at uh, uh, x as is so by solving the equation you get the uh, theta dA is actually minus uh, 19 so by analytical approach you know you need to do a lot of uh, exercise to understand the, the behind the behind the equation and how to solve the, the equation there so when you get that one actually the minus uh, theta dA is actually referring minus 90 degree but then you are referring to the uh, same direction so it's actually 270 degree referring referring to the uh, positive x as is so I believe uh, you guys need to, uh, to do more exercise on the analytical approach. Uh, okay, uh, that's it uh, for today. Thank you.